Good morning here in South Central Alaska and going for a quick walk right here in our neighborhood to look to see what I can find. Um, looking for mushrooms, currants, see if there's any blueberries, um, what is right. And right now, to my surprise, we have rose hips ready to go. It's a little bit early. It's only... <clears throat> excuse me, it's only late August and already these rose hips are ready for harvest. And how you know that they're ready for harvest is that they are nice and soft and squishy. So you can see right here in your hand, it squishes nice and easily. You can see that pulp coming right out. And that is ready to eat. Oh, I've got a mad squirrel behind me right now. So yeah, the rose hips are ready to eat and you want to make sure that when you're eating your rose hips that you don't eat the little um, hairy seed pods on the inside, okay? So you're going to see this inside is like a hairy seed pod and those can cause mouth and stomach irritation. So make sure when you're teaching your kids to eat these that they pull off the skin and the tasty pulp around that inner seed pod. Um, rose hips are extremely high in vitamin C and you can either make a fruit leather with them if you want, or you can dry them for tea. They take a little while to dry. Dry. You need to make sure you take the seed pods out before you spread them on a rack to dry them, either in a dehydrator or you can air dry them um, in an oven on very, very low so you don't damage them with heating. But yeah, rose hips are wonderful. Um, fall fruit together, and I couldn't resist showing you guys this is Usnia hanging off the trees, and I don't know if you can see this or not, but it is like a magical fairy garden of Usnia in here right now. They're all beaded up with beautiful beads of water from our rain last night, and it's just literally a curtain of Usnia behind me. I've never seen a couple of trees that have quite this much Usnia on there. And uh, as soon as these guys dry out, I'll probably come back and gather a whole bunch of this and put it in for a tincture into uh, for the winter time for the antibiotic properties of Usnia, which is in another video I have um, on my channel. So out there foraging, don't forget your rose hips. You can also eat the domestic um, rose hip as well from domestic roses. Um, as long as they don't have any pesticides on them, they are good to go. Happy foraging.